Hello, my name is Brandon Nguyen, and I'm a rider for Texas 4000. I'll be proudly riding on the Ozarks route in the summer of 2019. I'm currently a senior studying nutrition, uh, and I'm going to talk about why I ride today. So 10 years ago, my grandfather on my mother's side was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. But back then, I really didn't know what this disease was or why it chose to take my grandfather away from me. Uh, to be honestly, uh, perfectly honest, I wasn't that close to my grandfather and I didn't get too many times to actually have meaningful conversations with him. But I knew how much he meant to both my mother and her side of the family. And seeing him pass away, I really saw how it affected my mom. And it made me really sad because I just, I didn't, couldn't explain why things like that were happening. Uh, fast forward a couple more years and my cousin Teresa was unfortunately diagnosed with leukemia at a very young age um, and this is what mostly ch changed my life. I remember visiting her in the hospital and just seeing her kind of laying on the hospital bed and just all the life had been sucked out of her and it just seemed like this disease and this diagnosis had really been, uh, taken over her life and it was really weird from the girl that I grew up with you know. Uh, growing up with Teresa we would play all the time she was super sassy uh, and it was just so always so full of energy, but at the same time, I just remember a couple of times I always get annoyed with her sass and stuff like that. And now it's completely different because she wasn't even saying a word. And it really shook me because I felt really privileged in that moment, just looking at her and just realizing, wow, like, how lucky am I to be sitting here, it's perfectly healthy, nothing to worry about, and just living my own life. And she has this to deal with, you know? I, I couldn't even imagine what she was going through. I'm happy to say nowadays that uh, she's actually in remission and uh, just recently this past week she texted me asking me about majors at UT because she's applying and I'm hoping she goes here because then she'll, she'll learn all about Texas 4000 and whatnot but I, ultimately the experience really taught me a lot. I, it just it really opened my eyes to what disease can do to people and it really opened my eyes to what disease can do to people really close to you. Especially in Teresa's case, it really scared me because she had not lived that long at all and she had so much in front of her. And for her to potentially have her life taken away was really scary for me. To have one of my close cousins like that taken away was really terrifying. And then I, I wanted to find a way to have a meaningful impact moving on forward. And that's one of the reasons why I want to become a doctor when I grow up. And so when it came to UT, I always wanted to know, I knew that I wanted to do, find something that I could make an impact with. How can I do something that can meaning, have a meaningful impact on other people's lives and help them in a beneficial way? I'm not a doctor now, I can't really save anyone's lives, but I still wanted to help out in any way possible. And I remember freshman year, I was actually walking on Speedway, which is a street on campus here, and a couple of people were wearing their jerseys, and they were like, oh, come, come bike to Alaska and raise money for cancer research. And I was like, bike to Alaska? Uh, <laughs> I was really surprised by it, and so I, I talked to them about it, and I was simply just amazed by these people and, how, and why they were biking to Alaska. I, it, it, it surprised me because when I first hear biking to Alaska, I think you had to be really fit. But these people were all in it for the right reasons. Um, they weren't in it because you know they're the most fit people in the world, but they're in it because they were all had cancer of their cancer stories of their own, and they all had reasons to ride, and they all had people that they wanted to ride for. And it really inspired me. It, it it made me reflect back onto the people who meant a lot in my life, and made me look back onto my grandfather and Teresa, and seeing how that changed them and changed my family. And so I decided to apply to Texas 4000 out of the blue. And I was fortunate enough to be accepted. And now here I am. And ever since joining Texas 4000, I've actually learned a lot. Um, every single day, whether I be getting random donations or I'm out on the streets panhandling, I, I love hearing people's stories. Our three pillars are hope, knowledge, and charity. And I really resonate with the first one, hope. Um, I never really realized how many people would put their blind faith into me um, when I joined Texas 4000, but I was surprised by how many people were so open into sharing their stories and letting me know that they, they really believed in what I was doing. And that really inspired me. It pushed me even more because just as when I was looking at Teresa in her hospital bed, I still feel incredibly privileged now to have all these people putting their trust in me and to be even be able to training even being able to train and bike to Alaska in the first place. I, it's very humbling to me to have these people share their stories with me. I couldn't be more happy to bring hope with them and share hope with them and bring this up to Alaska along the whole journey.